Good morning and welcome back. This is Sarah, your Socially Awkward Seller, and I am back with another daily vlog, and we've got something special going on today. It's Sunday morning, and I don't know if you know this, but Sarth's is going around. Yeah. If you haven't heard about it, I'll tell you everything you need to know. This was started by Harry Tornado, uh, another reseller who has a channel, and um, there have been a lot of videos made since he started this challenge not that long ago. Um, but this stands for support a reseller this holiday season. So what um, they want us to do is pull 10 things from our inventory and show them and offer them for sale and uh, give you the opportunity to support a reseller the way we always do anyway, the way that we try to help each other anyway. So um, I'm going to show you 10 things. I'm not going to give you prices of those things. Um, I'll put links below in my um, in the description box so you can go and check those items out. Just if you're interested in any of these items, send me an offer and um, just put the tag Sarths in it. And I'll know that you saw this video and I will give you a great deal on any of these items. And um, check out anything else in my store and put the same hashtag Sarths in the offer and I will give you a good deal on anything in my store. So um, let's just jump right into it. Uh, this is supposed to be an unedited video and only because um, Josh, his name is Josh, didn't want um, that to be an obstacle, like the editing, somebody make an excuse that they don't want to edit. You know, I edit anyway. Um, but this segment, I'm not. I may later. So um, let's just jump right in. First thing I've got is a Sensationals uh, wax warmer. And this one is kind of cool. It's, uh, it's wood. Um, it's got a, a wood feel. It's got a very, um, like, farmhouse um, kind of look to it. So that is in my store. Um, the link should be in the description below. And that, I think, uh, maybe I'll give you a price. That one is somewhere in the $10 range, but of course, plus shipping, everything is plus shipping, and you can just make an offer on any of the things that you might be interested in. The second thing is this collectible um, bisque porcelain Humpty Dumpty bank. And uh, this is from, let me see if I can read it, The Good Company. Um, look at the expression on his face. That's pretty much what I wake up with. Ugh. Anyway, um, this is really cute, would be cute for someone that collects um, nursery rhyme related items or banks. Um, or Humpty Dumpty stuff, or it would be great for a kid's room. So, uh, again, I, I forget I forget how much this is. I'm such a failure. But, uh, again, send me an offer. Um, I tried to pick things that were um, either new in box or um, just re unique. Um, things that you wouldn't you couldn't go to Walmart and get okay this the sens sensational is warmer you can but uh, for the most part all of these items are not something you could just go out and buy um, in your local retail store the next thing is this Adolf Coors um, thermo thermo serve beer tray and um, it's really cute it's plastic not a lot of condition issues really um, there is some discoloration some some yellowing of the decal but it still looks pretty good so if you've got um, someone that has a man cave or is a course collector this might be a good item for them and that's not very ex uh, expensive that, that tray there is this set of crate and barrel uh, dessert appetizer plates these are called city scenes there are six plates in this um, uh, in this box and they are Chicago, San Antonio, San Francisco, Toronto, Seattle, and Washington DC. Um, these are new in box and have not been used. Again, make me an offer plus shipping. And I was supposed to be showing you 10 things. 
Um, this is a new in plastic uh, 31 lunch bag. It is turquoise and uh, navy, right? I think it's turquoise and navy. But with my old eyes, it looks black. Maybe it's turquoise and black. Don't, don't kill me. Uh, it says Tasty Treats on the front, and this is in my store. This is really inexpensive, somewhere around the $9 range in my store. So if you're interested in that, take a peek. Okay, so I know this is supposed to be an unedited video. However, uh, my husband called me in the middle of it, and uh, that stops my recording. I had to use my regular phone, like my actual phone, this morning to film instead of my like my unused my photo my photography phone uh, because that one's dead and I forgot to put it on the charger last night so enough of that um, there were some curse words that happened when the video went you know dead but I did not actually curse at my husband that he heard anyway um, the next item that I have um, that I'm recommending or however you want to say this is this dimensions uh, Siamese cat cross stitch kit this is really pretty and I think there's a series of these but this would be great for crafter someone that likes cross stitch someone that has excuse me a, um, a Siamese cat so that's also in my store um, the next two items the, little, the next two items are items I believe that are in my paper store I call it and that's where I sell uh, some vintage items and paper items and these are really cool they are collectible but I thought I would show you these there are four of them and they're called block prints And these are, I think, about a four by four. No, like a six by six um, square wood frame with these great prints. And uh, there was a whole set, set of these, a series of these. I think there were at least eight. <clears throat> eight of these. <clears throat> Excuse me, eight of these prints. There could have been more. Um, but I just think those are adorable. They don't, they just don't go with my decor or decor. I am so freaking hick. I say decor. You should come and check out my decor. Anyway, uh, this is a very unique item, but some people you need to buy something unique for because, um, you know, they, they have everything. They have all of the latest you know electronics and movies and all of that stuff so this is a very unique item this is a replica of a gold bar at Fort Knox and it does say this is a lead replica of the gold bricks stored in the Treasury at Fort Knox Kentucky this is a copy if it were a real brick um, of solid gold, the value would be an approximately $531.69. Now, it's a lot more than that right now. Like the, the, the price of this would be, I would say in the $1,300, right? The, the price of the gold, not the paperweight, would be in the $1,300 range, I believe. I haven't looked at gold prices for a while though. Um, but this is in my store. This is, um, a paperweight by an artist. I think his name is Ted Arnold. Um, but anyway, I just thought this was interesting. Uh, I am from Kentucky. My mom lives near Fort Knox. And I just thought this was a cool kind of sentimental thing to me, I guess. I don't know. But there, that is in my store. And the link should be below. And then the last item, I think I've done 10. I think I've done 10. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did nine. Um, if there's a child in your life that you can't stand, maybe a nephew, maybe a cousin, I recommend that you buy this doll 
because it should scare the crap out of them. This is a topsy-turvy doll. This is Snow White and in her pockets um, she has imprisoned the seven dwarfs. Um, I think they come out. I'm not. They do. They're Velcroed. Um, and I think they're supposed to be like finger puppets. And so there's your Snow White. And if you flip her over, um, I think think this is supposed to be this looks like a jester um i don't remember a jester in the in the story of snow white however um maybe this is the prince um look at that mustache he thinks he's boston blackie uh but if you turn him around hold on let me get the there's actually a little hood and it's the witch so this is like the scariest thing ever um i have had it for a long time because nobody wants this in their house but if you're interested in this send me an offer and um i'm sure i can make it yours anyway um uh, those are the nine items i wonder what the other one was supposed to be we're not supposed to edit and i won't but let me go and look and see what the other one was supposed to be Okay, so the last item that I was supposed to pull, but I didn't, unfortunately I didn't have to look for it, was this vintage Caboodles case. Um, this is a beautiful kind of minty seafoam green, seafoam green, and uh, it has the mirror, and it has that lovely smell, you know, that old cosmetic smell that I refuse to get rid of. Um, and then it has all of the storage, which is uh, really cool. So someone, um, a teen that appreciates vintage, is there such a thing? I don't know if there's such a thing. Uh, might like this. Um, someone that is my age that remembers these like when they first came out might appreciate this but anyway um again that's in my store and i will put a link in the description below all right um i'm gonna come back in a bit show you the few things that sold not much and then um we will get into our daily routine okay i will you you're over there i'm i'm right here i'll get into my daily routine 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 Woo! did i have a mini stroke um, and I will uh, go have coffee with the grandkids. They don't really drink coffee. They're more of juice kind of kids. And um, then I'll get back and get some work done because today is a work day and I'm getting ready to set up the photo booth and get it going. So stick around. I wanted to share with you how wonderful it is to live in a city like Columbus, Ohio. I'm not from here, but I have learned a lot about turning left on a red light and blocking traffic. I have seen people eating soup and salad while they're driving, putting on makeup, popping zits, and picking their nose. Eat your Wendy's chili at the house. Put on your Maybelline at the house. Poppy zits at the house. I know picking your nose does not affect your driving, but it sure affects mine. I can't even. Hey there, I thought I would show you what I sold so far um, since, you know, in the last 24 hours or so. Um, so let's just jump right in. Um, I sold this Black & Decker um, work bowl. I bought this last week. Um, and listed it the work bowl 
Uh, I had listed for like $19.99. I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping on this. This just sold a few minutes ago. This is a Black & Decker Mini Pro Food Chopper uh, chopping blade. And this sold for $13.49. Um, and then that was all the eBay sales that I had. I had two sales on Amazon. Um, one was for this uh, Pet Safe Deluxe Remote Trainer. It's a dog trainer. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, but it's one of those bark collar kind of things, I think. I don't know. I feel I feel torn. I feel torn about this because then it, maybe it's inhumane. I don't know. But anyway, sold this for $29.99. I can't fix all the world's problems. I can just sell the stuff to it. $29.99 plus uh, a shipping on Amazon. Like I don't I usually don't get it like full shipping cost credit um but i do get uh partial uh, it just depends i digress the other thing i sold was this cuisinart um hand mixer this is a pretty nice one uh, this one is complete um and it's in really good shape so i sold it on amazon for 46 dollars 99 cents so those were my sales so far um if more happens i'll show you that tomorrow i guess so anyway um, yeah, I just put away all my inventory and now I'm going to put up the photo box and maybe I'll go have coffee because it's, it's 930. So, um, I'll be back with you later and we'll talk about what got done. All right. It's the afternoon. I've, uh, taken a bunch of photographs. I will be uploading those pictures, um, here in just a little bit. I had to go out and get groceries, you know, wife stuff. And I, uh, stopped at Goodwill because it's right beside the grocery store and picked up a few things, so I thought I'd share those with you. Today's color was purple. Still is, I guess. Um, and I picked this up. This is some kind of bay window thing you can build, model, or something you can build. I got this for $1.50, because it was half off today. I don't know if that'll bring anything, honestly. Really don't. Um, Oh, I paid $1.99 for this. And it's just a really cute, um, you know, garden decor kind of thing. And it's glass and copper. And it's this little lighthouse. It's so cute. I paid $1.99 for that. This I couldn't pass up. I don't know that it's worth anything, but I don't know. Somebody might find it as kitschy as me. It's a gourd. It's a gourd that kind of looks like a penguin. I almost said pineapple. <laughs> uh, almost like a, it looks like a penguin. Isn't that cool? And it's made with this little base on the bottom. And it says it was handcrafted in Carlisle, PA. And this is a Meadow Brook gourd. So, very cute. And I paid $1.99. No, I paid 99 cents for this little guy. Carefully. Um, I found a couple of keepsake ornaments. I did not look these up, um, but I'm sure that I can get my money back. You know, I can I can make I can make a profit. I'm sure. Um, this is the Jetsons. Paid a dollar ninety nine for this, and this is a a magic ornament. It has a flickering light, and I bet that's really cute. This retailed for twenty eight dollars. Uh, let's see. This one is also a uh, magic one. This is lights, mo light mo motion, and music. But this is really cool. This is a Wizard of Oz keepsake ornament. Isn't that cool? And this one retailed for $32. I want to see this. Just pull this one out. I got the light box on behind me, behind you, and so it's washing out everything. And I just can't deal with that. 
Let's just move you a little bit. But look how cool that is. And I guess they go in a circle and it plays music. And let me guess, it probably plays Yellow Brick Road. That would be my guess if I was guessing. Um, but that's very, very cute. Put that back in there. Sorry, I had to go through all that. But you didn't necessarily need to see it, I suppose. Um, and finally, the last ornament that I picked up is a Magic Motion keepsake ornament from Hallmark. I paid $1.99 for this one as well. It retails for $22. And it's Snoopy and Woodstock. And it's so cute. It says Snoopy plays Santa and Woodstock are the reindeer. How cute is that? I paid $1.99 each for those. Oh, <laughs> broke it. Actually, I didn't, probably. Oh no. Maybe I did break it. So what good is a cheese? Oh, it's in there. I'm gonna say, this is a cheese block. And I'm like, it doesn't have the, the blade, but it's, it's in there. They've got it taped in there. So I guess I'll have to be fixing that. Um, yeah. I don't know what I did. There we go. This cute little cheese block. And, uh, hmm. oh, it's a Meyer brand. It's really cute um, butcher block. And I thought with some of the cheese trays and stuff that I'll be making, that might be handy. It might not. Let's see. This, up. this is a, I think this is a lab. Looks like a lab. It's called The Best of Show. It's a cookie jar. Best of Show. Original art by Vladimir Zinov, MFA. Uh, porcelain by Rosalind. And this is a special collector's edition. That looks very lab-like, black lab. Um, I did not see this particular one sold, but a lot of these were selling, and um, this one was not listed as well. And they were selling between $10, because my philosophy is you only get $10 if you only ask $10, and um, but up to like $40. So I'm gonna get that listed, because uh, dog lovers are very much like cat lovers. They will buy dog-related stuff. Um, cat lovers don't buy dog related stuff, but you know what I mean. Shush. All right. And then finally, I think this was the last thing. Oh, no, two more. Um, I did pick up a fondue pot that is like the sterno kind. It's a brand new one in, in the box. I paid $6 for it, but I'm going to use it because I know I'll be coating a lot of things in chocolate, um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, you know, for those holiday treats. And I um, thought that would be a cool way instead of trying to do it on the stove top or in the microwave. So bought that for myself. I got this um, Temptations casserole dish. Really cute pattern. I have not seen this pattern before. I paid $2.99 for it. Um, Temptations do not have a huge resale value. Um, but uh, I figured I'd do okay on this. It does have the um, that the glass trivet and this little basket. That's so cute to put the casserole in. All right, let's see. One last thing. Put this down before I drop it. I did break something in good in Goodwill. I picked up a a vintage fondue pot, an electric one. And it had a glass lid like a uh, crock pot has. And when I picked it up, that lid slid right off and smashed right into the floor. But I uh, offered to pay for it. They were like, no, it's okay. All right. Um, this, I believe, is a Calphalon trivet. I'm not sure, but I think that's what it is. Um, it's kind of a, just a metal base with a, with a rubber foot on the bottom. 
a rubber band, if you will. Um, so I think that's what it is, but I'll, I'll research it. I paid 99 cents for this. It's probably not worth a whole bunch, but I, I think my, I think my dishes are, are my pots and pans are Calphalon. If uh, it's not worth anything, I'll keep it. All right, that's all I bought. And that's pretty much all I've got uh, for today. I am going to uh, upload the pictures that I took, get those things live. It's been a very slow sales day today, and uh, I'm hoping that it will pick up overnight. But uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this vlog. Um, please check out uh, Harry Tornado's channel and look for those other um, Sarth, Sarth's hashtag. Uh, and watch those other videos to help support those resellers and YouTubers. So, that's all I got. Just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working. And I'll see you guys the next time. Bye!